Hello traders, the title of the video is uh, Helio Wave Analyst is put under pressure to explain his Helio Wave Analysis to a trader, a YouTuber of the name PMCLLC uh, has asked me to analyze NVIDIA stock. I've been put under pressure but I an earlier with a, a trader uh, to explain one more time uh, my prior earlier wave analysis. What should I do? That is the question. Let's get started without wasting too much time. Previously, without too much story, we were calling uh, this point here the third earlier wave. If you remember, I think I was saying first wave, second wave. And we were saying that the third wave has ended here. But some trader may say, Joe, you were calling it the fifth wave. But we were calling that session the fifth manor wave of the third wave. So we were saying that that third wave has been subdivided into five manor wave. And when we were here, we were talking about the fifth manor wave of the third wave. If you remember clearly, so... We were saying the third wave has ended here, and we were expecting the fourth wave, and not daily fourth wave, followed by a fifth wave. All right, so so first wave of a higher degree, second wave of a higher degree. And we were here, we were saying third wave of a higher degree. So we were saying fourth wave, expecting fourth wave for Nvidia stock, followed by the fifth wave. But because of the greed, you remember, all right, greed. Let me write it on the chart, all right the greed in the financial market the bullish traders have extended the third wave now i'm not saying that uh, the third wave cannot be extended it can be prolonged and that is the case here so we see an extension of our original third wave now the third wave is right here so what is happening? So that's why we are saying the earlier wave count is one step at a time. And if we have a new information, a new data, all right, we just flow with the price. So this is one typical example here. So now that we are calling this the third wave, traders have been following me for years. We say that, Joe, you said that uh, if we see a shadow on top of the third wave, especially on the yearly chart is indicating to us that the fourth wave is probably underway and this is true this is true this is the case here but this is a yearly candlestick bar it's not yet close we will see how the year will close all right we'll see how the year will close and then we can see clearly the structure the beginning of the fourth wave of a higher degree so where we are now, we can put here. It's already underway though, the fourth is already, it looks to me that it's already underway unless uh, we see more extensions. God knows what, all right? But if we go, this one we see on the yearly chart, that's the bigger picture, all right? If we go quickly on the monthly chart, so we see that the top energy bar coming down, somebody selling here, very interesting. And, um, Personally speaking, because of what I see on the yearly chart, I was told you this is the first wave. But if you look at this session here, uh, it's a little funny unless uh, that uh, first wave is subdivided into five mono wave. Probably this will be where my cursor is. Probably this will be uh, first mono wave of the first wave, and then we have a kind of a flat correction here for me in the second wave. And then the third way somewhere there, blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, to avoid too much confusion, because it's not very clear, we leave it as it is like this. Sometimes you may come across that, so you are not very sure, it's not very clear. Don't push it, work with what you got. It's neat, clear, it move up, looks to me like a first way. It pull back gently here, it looks to me like a second way. Now our third wave of a higher degree, uh, it's subdivided into five mono wave, if you agree, first mono wave, second mono wave, and the third mono wave has been extended into five wave, five mono wave again, one, two, three, four, five, followed by the, uh, the fourth mono wave of the third wave itself of a higher degree, 
and okay the fifth manual wave of the third wave of a higher degree now what is very interesting probably that's why the trader was asking me to look at this chart is that if you go quickly to i'll go to the you see here we were we lose we, this year you can see a consolidation so a lot of traders this obviously saying when we are talking about a consolidation remember what we said before what do we think of we think of the horizontal channel yes or no a consolidation that's the first thing that's coming to the mind of traders what is the second thing that we are thinking of a triangle okay a triangle that's the second thing coming to our mind and also I told traders sometimes the price will be in a, a rising channel or a declining channel but it will be consolidating gently this is the case here though it's in a rising channel in this session it is consolidating going up and down all right now very important point and a very interesting point i need to mention to traders traders that know about the ending diagonal so when we are talking about the ending diagonal we are talking about the fifth wave whether it's a fifth manual wave or a real fifth wave is confined in a triangle that's what people think of but the best way to interpret the ending diagonal is that the ending diagonal is the fifth wave that is a consolidation now in fact the structure of the ending diagonal is free 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 all right so it is a consolidation so do not get fixated when you are talking about ending diagonal that definitely it must be a triangle quite often it is a triangle but think of it like a market pattern the ending diagonal is a consolidation during the fifth wave when the fifth wave is so divided into five manual wave forming the structure free 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 if you get that idea that the ending diagonal is a consolidation in the fifth wave when it's not a triangle as it is here instead it's in a horizontal channel or a, usually or in a rising channel like this all right or if it was in a downtrend you see in a declining channel but the price is consolidating during the fifth wave you will quickly deduct that it is also an ending diagonal most earlier way traders know about the ending diagonal but sometimes they miss to recognize it because they are expecting a triangle but the best way to understand it is is a consolidation and this is one example here where we have okay uh, the fifth manual wave of the third wave it is okay an ending diagonal so let me say some of them may disagree with my wave count that's okay with me all right so feel free to disagree because it's i'm reviewing my prior wave count looking at uh, what the prior has done so far all right all right so in my view all right in my view this is all right the fifth wave subdivided into five manual wave now the structure normally should be free 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 sometimes it's not very clear here it's not very clear all right so here this one looks like a free this one doesn't look like a free this one looks like a free this one doesn't look like a free this one is just one move up so in my view as i told you this is the fifth manual wave in green of the rear third wave of a higher degree that's why now we see a sharp move down so whether it's a fifth manual wave or a real a fifth wave all right if it is a consolidation we can deduct that the next move will be sharp it's not guaranteed that it will be sharp but there is a high probability that it will be a sharp correction move down and this is coming down now very very sharp that's what we see now if we go to the monthly chart that the move one candlestick bar clearing completely okay the the gains of 2018 long bar because the earlier way trader has spotted that a fifth wave it is a consolidation so the strategy that you should adopt during that time all right 
whenever you see consolidation during the fifth wave, after a bullish move like this, all right, you just you just concentrate on selling at the top. Whether it's a triangle, horizontal channel, or whatever, you will see either a triangle or a rising channel. Because usually it will be pointing up, so it won't be horizontal channel. All right? It will be pointing up. Because the triangle that we are talking about, all right, normally is like this, all right, should be like this, pointing up. All right, pointing up like this, all right? But in this case, it's not a triangle pointing us. Sometimes we say it looks like, a, yeah, we can agree that it looks like a triangle, but a lot of traders will agree that it's a channel pointing up. Either it's a triangle pointing up or it's a channel pointing up. But the most important thing is that a consolidation is taking place during the fifth wave. Sometimes you may see clearly those uh, internal waves. Sometimes it can be a little bit messy, but at that point in time, practically trading, all you do care about, because you know that this is a fifth wave, whether it's a fifth manual wave, as it is here, you just concentrate on selling here, and selling here, and selling here, all right? And now, okay? So this is what's happening here. So we are now in the fifth, in the third wave of a higher degree, and the fifth manual wave of that third wave is a consolidation, it's an ending diagonal that is a little bit hidden. Now we are seeing the first leg, so to speak, of the fourth wave of a higher degree. All right. Okay, so that's this was happening also. All right. It's a fourth wave of a higher degree that is taking place. As I told you, this is this kind of bar. Uh, if you go to the yearly chart, you, as I was telling you, the yearly chart, can you see bar, is not yet closed. It will be closed at the end of December. So all the gains of 2018 has been erased. Mm -hmm. Now, personally speaking, you can expect that because as we were telling traders, that it will be better, this is what we say, when there is a distortion, all right? And a distortion is prolonged, which we call the distortion relating to the time, it took for the distortion to be completed, the correction is usually very sharp. All right, very sharp. This is one example here. So instead of having another fourth wave of a higher degree here, and then pushing in the fifth wave, people are pushing it, pushing it, pushing it, pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. Now we see the price crashing down very fast, erasing all the gain of 2018. All right. What can you do about that, all right? Now, I need to point out also to traders that uh, if you were in a downtrend, you will be, for instance, you're in a downtrend, you see either, okay, a channel pointing down during the fifth wave, all right? Or you see uh, a triangle pointing down during the fifth wave, it is a consolidation in a fifth way or in a fifth manner way. You want to concentrate on looking for opportunity to buy. So in this case, if it was in a channel like this, you'll be concentrating on buying at the lower part of the base of for that, uh, okay, channel like this because you know that it's coming to the end. Another thing that I need to explain to traders on the weekly chart, you can see that uh, during the fifth wave, in an uptrend, we have what we call a distribution. And this is what's happening here. People were distributing, they were selling it gently. People, this is the activity, the large commerce in the market, all right? These, those are retail traders. So everybody know that uh, Nvidia is going up. The, the trend was in place for years, all right? Now those people want to also to be part of it. They're pumping money into the market. They're pumping money into the market. And the smart money just selling them down. So when they were buying all this time, so they probably they were here buying. If they don't think they are profit, if they were not day trading, if they were not swing trading, and they are long-term investors, they will be leaking their wounds, so to speak, right now. You see now? So this was happening. This is the activity of what they call the dump money that usually come into the market in the fifth wave, either the fifth manual wave of uh, an impulse wave that is about to end. So the impulse wave is about to end, and the quality wave is about to begin. 
And those people sometimes they are they are in fact they are uh, the worst enemy of technical traders because they will extend the price, they will push it more. So like now, if you go to the uh, monthly chart, you can see that uh, a lot of uh, okay swing traders were busy selling, waiting for the price to pull back to form another the fourth wave. And these people, usually some of them fundamental traders, they will just come in and push in the price out, and they take those people out of their trade if they don't have an, enough stop loss, or they may create uh, okay, uh, all right. A put option expiration and a technical trader end up losing money before the price will crash down. Now, the big institution, as they see that uh, this is the dump money activity, they are busy selling them down as they are buying it. And now it's clear to us what was happening since this point here. You see this, this volume back here, all right. Uh, this is June 2017. Like, now, in fact, uh, yeah, there was one activity here, you see, here? that that can you see by there, you see. So there were sellers already coming into the market at that point in time. They were divesting, and the people were just pushing it up, all right? Now, so all in all, without too much long story, first wave of a higher degree, second wave of a higher degree, we are now in a third wave of a higher degree that is so divided into five minor waves. The fifth minor wave of the third wave of a higher degree is a consolidation. One can consider that as a, an ending diagonal for that third wave of a higher degree. We are expecting now the fourth wave of a higher degree, uh, all right, which is, I believe, uh, we'll see how the, the year will end. And uh, from there, we will analyze, okay, where is the fourth wave uh, is uh, headed, all right? Before we wrap it up, all right, one more time, let's see whether I can uh, squeeze my pitchfork through on this chart. All right. Put it here. Okay, you can you can leave a pitch for tool like this on your chart because uh, all right, just just to do that. Okay, put it here, leave it on your chart like that. Don't remove it. All right. Now, for those of you who are day trading or swing trading and wondering, George, tell me more. Well, all you need to do is to go on a weekly chart, and then the next thing, okay, just use market geometry at this junction uh, to determine the possible reversal point. Uh, by doing the projection of that, uh, okay, a channel, okay? So if you are wondering what's the next move, what it's going to do, now, we know now that uh, probably we are in the fourth wave of a higher degree, just concentrate on the price, like I showed it to you before, and uh, do the normal thing that uh, technical traders are doing. That's all you need to do now, all right? Okay, and then you want to look for a trading opportunity, and on the key level, don't forget the media lines of each channel and uh, trade around okay, those uh, key levels, all right? All right, this was a pretty long. All right, so this will conclude our discussion today about uh, earlier wave uh, analysis is put under pressure to explain his earlier wave uh, analysis. If you have any question or suggestion, my friend, this is the best time for you uh, to, to ask me that question in a comment session. And uh, in due course, I will be recording another video all right, to answer your specific uh, question. If this video has been truly, truly useful to you, please let us know by giving us uh, the thumbs up. If you dislike it again one more time, that's okay. Just mark it down. We think that it's an essential tutorial that can help uh, other alien wave traders. All right, feel free to share it with uh, your friend on Termla, Google Plus, Twitter, and also on Facebook. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel today. It is free. All right. And be sure to click on the notification bell so anytime we record a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. If you are watching this video on Facebook, our YouTube channel is 24 Elliot Waves YouTube channel. Subscribe today, please. However, if you are watching it on YouTube and you don't know our Facebook page, our Facebook page is stochastic-magd. Sometimes I will post the video first on Facebook 
before putting it on YouTube. Sometimes I will do the opposite. So you want to track me and know what's going on. You can know, you can find me on Facebook also or on YouTube. All right? I'm a YouTuber, but a YouTuber sometimes can go to a Facebook. I'd like to take this opportunity also to thank Mr. Mr. P-M-L-L-C. I hope I'm pronouncing your name very well. Excellent question. Very interesting in the chat indeed. All right. Excellent topic for educational purposes. Do you have any more questions? Do not hesitate okay, to put in a comment section. And do course, I will be recording another video to answer your specific question. You did also ask a question about a, uh, a triple tree, double tree, and uh, all the complex way. We will be talking about those in due course. I take note of those things. And before you run away, I would like to talk about a trade idea, a trading software uh, that allow traders uh, to, all right, to pinpoint high probability trading setup. As I told trader before, without a high probability trading setup, there is no winning trade. So the trade idea software, I'll put the link in the description session. Uh, there will be, they are doing, uh, okay, a test drive. So from the 29th of no October, 29th of this October to the 2nd of uh, November, uh, they are doing what they call uh, a test drive for free so some of you who are interested you can uh, okay check the link in the description session and uh, test it for yourself uh, because uh, some traders have uh, difficulties to find the best they are the high probability trading setup and that trading software will allow you to find up to 500 even 500 excellent trading setup now also the risk reward ratio of those setup are excellent and uh, they are the best in the market right now and um, I can only recommend that training software to those of you who are interested, looking for, okay, a software that can help them to find high probability training setup, talking about GAP and, or any kind of setup that you are looking for in the financial market. So check the link in the description session. So this will conclude our discussion today about uh, alien wave analysis uh, is put under pressure to explain his alien wave analysis. Thank you for watching, and I will speak to you very soon.